Boys and girls, hello and welcome. Mr. Pedersen here, and today we are looking at math lesson 12-3. Very excited, making some great progress with our knowledge about fractions. And we're going to get started right now about understanding the whole with our visual learning video clip. So let's take a look. This is going to help us out and give us some background knowledge on understanding the whole of, of fractions. How can you use a fractional part to find the whole? Think about this question during the lesson. Anya and Novi are running in different races. The diagrams show how much of their races each runner has completed. Draw a picture of the whole of each track. Write a fraction to represent the whole. Okay, so you can see here that they're both at the same length, so let's see what the whole is. What do you notice about the distances Anya and Novi have completed? So what do you notice? Like we just said, they should be the same, right? Even though the lengths of the lines are longer for Novi and a little bit shorter for Anya, it's still one-sixth, so we're considering it the same thing. They are both one-sixth of the race. They are different sizes. Do you think your pictures for the tracks will be the same or different? Why? So think about it for a second. Do you think that both of these will be the same length in total? Probably not, right? Because this one for Novi is a little bit longer than Anya's. So let's take a look what they say here. The pictures for the tracks will be different because the one-sixth part for each track is different. You can look at the fraction to find how many parts will make up the whole. You know Anya and Novi have each completed one-sixth of their races. How many lengths of one-sixth make one whole? So think about it. Our total, or denominator, is six. So how many one-sixths would it take to create our whole? How many lengths? Think about it for a second. Select your answer. Is it 1? Is it 6? Is it 12 or 16? Well, we know our total or whole is 6, right? 6, 1, 6. So it's going to be 6. Oop. 6 lengths awesome. of 1 sixth make 6 sixths, or 1 whole. What do you need in order to draw six lengths of one-sixth? You need six copies of each one-sixth length. Absolutely, so let's give it a try. These diagrams show the whole of Anya's and Novi's races. The sixths are different sizes because the tracks for the races, the holes, are different sizes. So same exact thing, right, for each one. It still represents a whole for each. We have six individual parts for each races, but each segment or unit is a different size in each. What fraction is one whole equal to in this problem? So think about it for a second. One whole is equal to the fraction six sixths exactly. in this problem. Now you know how you can use a fractional part to find the whole. So these are both 6 over 6, and they equal one whole. So they both represent the same thing. Keep that in mind for understanding the whole. We're going to go over a couple more different concepts to review a little bit. So let's take a look at this slideshow that I created, and I think this will give us a little extra help on the topic of understanding the whole. So here's example number one. Use a fraction to name part of a whole or a location on a number line. So in this case, we're going to just look at this model here. How many equal parts are in the whole shape? Well, there's only three parts, right? And they're all equal, so we know the answer is three. This is not meant to confuse you. It's just a reference point to review and go over the concept. And then it asks to write a fraction for one equal part. And we know it's one-third because there's three pieces in total that are of equal size. And one-third
third of it is one equal part out of three in total. Let's keep going. Example number two. Look at the fractional parts to find how many parts make a whole. So we're going to look at this diagram right here. So the figure shows three-fourths the length of a stick, right? We know we have three one-quarters. Each equal part is one-fourth, right? We know that. Three-fourths is three equal parts of one-fourth, right? So three-fourths, which is what's shown here, is three equal parts of one-fourth. There are four copies of one-fourth to make a whole. Four copies, right? One, two, three, four. So this is the one that's missing. We'd have to add on one more fourth to make it a whole. Four copies of one fourth make four out of four or one whole. Awesome. Similar example here, just with some different numbers. The denominator of the fraction tells you how many lengths you need to make a whole. So the denominator tells you how many lengths there are in total, right? So in this case, the denominator is 5. So we know there's going to be 5 in total. This is 4 fifths of a diagram. 4 fifths is 4 lengths of 1 fifth. So 4 fifths is represented right here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 5 lengths of 1 fifth make 5 out of 5 or 1 whole. So if we added another fifth right here, we'd have our whole 5 out of 5 or 1 whole. Awesome. So we see how that works. We have 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and you would add our 5 fifths to make our 1 whole. Awesome. So now you try. Go to topic 12-3, student practice. You can do this. Refer back to this video if you are confused, or you can even ask us a question on Google Classroom. So we're not here to move past what you don't already know. So if you're having trouble with it, please get in touch with us through Google Classroom. Leave a comment, and we'll get to you as soon as we can. Like I said, rewatch this video. Give it a try with the, the instructions, and you're doing great. We're really happy to see all the awesome work everyone's doing. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.